hopefully that tornado warning doesn't come back. Apparently a tornado touched down here um, yesterday afternoon. Um, I was out of the area at that time, um, but uh, we did uh, we did get a lot of damage around here. Um, shingles. Oh, you gotta love asphalt shingles. A few of them blew off my roof, and there's a few scratches on the trunk of my 85. Uh, the Cadillac was fine because the wind was blowing that way, um, and the car was over here. So naturally, the shingles were blowing in the driveway and further up the road. So um, of course, the Cadillac never got it. The car sat there all um, all week. The Buick, of course, was sitting in the garage, and the blue car, well, there's dull paint on it anyway. So who gives a um, if it was freshly painted, then I would care. So, nothing much has been going on here. Um, pretty much the same old, same old. Uh, the Buick has been sitting for well over a month. The battery, the battery was actually starting to go dead in it, um, which is unfortunate. But it did start. There was enough power to start the car, and uh, finally got it going. Cadillac, speaking of luxury. Okay, so the uh, the old DeVille is um, actually uh, back on the road, fully plated, insured. Uh, I have been driving it. No exhaust on the old girl either. It's uh, loud enough. Still in decent shape. Um, nothing much has changed with it. Uh, still clean, except for the interior. Starts and drives all right. Um, There's no back brakes on it right now. Uh, the brakes are a little spongy, but uh, I need new brake pads and rotors for the back. Front ones are half decent. Um, so, still runs good anyway, that's just the main thing. 85. It hasn't gone anywhere. 287,808.9 on the odometer and that's basically from just driving it around um, up and down the road here where there's no cops. Starts good, runs good. I've got to put my trim piece back on the bottom there. I'll get to that this afternoon, actually. Um, and uh, we got the Buick over here. Buick, actually, uh, the battery was quite low on charge, so um, it's been idling here for uh, for a while. Got the air conditioner going. Still blows cold air. That one's not on. Nice and cold. Not a lot has gone on with the Buick. Uh, the
back in May, the May long weekend, May 2-4, uh, I did take the Buick out for a drive uh, and accumulated roughly 30 kilometers on the odometer during that weekend. Um, and it's been basically parked here since. So as of today, it's got 58,461.8 on the odometer, and uh, actually, literally, I only put 20 clicks on it. Because um, I fueled up this car on, uh, what day was it? The May long weekend, the Saturday. I took this car for a drive, and literally, I only put 20 clicks on the odometer, not even, so. It hasn't really gone anywhere. doesn't want to go off on this one. I got a bad heat riser pipe on it. And I'll just shut it off. But uh, no mileage has been accumulated on this car either. See, I need a new one of these. This is why there's a big hole in it. That's why uh, this, this goes to the heat riser and Obviously the engine is warm enough for the choke to come off, but without the heat riser pipe in place, of course the choke isn't going to do what it's supposed to do, so I need a new one of those. But mechanical wise this car is ready to go, all I need is tires mounted to my new rims. And there was a big uh, dispute about my tires, apparently they can't get my tires for another 2-3 uh, weeks. I don't know why, it's a specialty size I guess I ordered. and. Um, I just cracked down and bought BF Goodrich. I didn't go for anything else. They're white walled, they have the raised lettering, so that's all I bought. So nothing much has changed with any of these vehicles. Uh, the chrome trim isn't even on here yet. I haven't been around. I've been all over the damn country, so of course nothing really has changed. The only thing that has changed is the Cadillac is on the road, uh, and these two vehicles aren't. This car here, the Buick, was on the road for a brief time um, during the month of May, for the May long weekend, and it's now parked, and it hasn't gone anywhere. I drove this car around, I stopped driving it in the May long weekend actually, and uh, the car hasn't been started since June. would leave the hood open, but I don't think he'd be able to hear me over that noisy, clattery old air conditioner compressor. I gotta replace that. Probably not this year, because the car doesn't go anywhere, but maybe for next year I'll replace it. Because that's, I don't know, that compressor looks like it's gonna blow sometime real soon, so. Um, anyway, the car is dusty too. White walls are clean anyway. Nice and cool in here. It is a hot day today. It's uh, roughly 32 degrees with the uh, Humidex, so that's Celsius. So it's, it, it's a warm enough day, but when you open the door here, you can feel a nice breeze of cold air coming in here. So. I've been meaning to fix this and I haven't got around to it because every time I see it, um, I close the trunk and forget about it because I don't really open the trunk on this car much. 
the glue is wearing off here, but uh, I'll have that touched up. I don't want to glue it too much because there's also the uh, the nuts here for your tail light assembly, so you can change the bulb. So I don't want to be putting anything too strong there. But it keeps falling down, and it kind of sucks because when I did take it to the car show, I popped the trunk, and I noticed that it was just flop down like this. Well, that's no good like that. So, I had to keep the trunk closed this year because I didn't want anybody to see that. So, still in good shape. Still runs good, drives good. Along with the other two. Three, I should say. The 85 is ready to go, all it needs is tires, the Cadillac just needs brakes, and this guy here doesn't need anything, so. They all start and drive well. Just haven't had any time to do anything with them. <laughs> 